guys, what's up? And welcome to Let's Play The Sims 3 50 Falls Challenge Part Number 2. Picking up with Lisa waking up this morning. So, um, we do have a lot to do today because the horse, uh, what is her name? I can't think of it. Ariel should be giving birth today, which is going to be pretty exciting. We're going to be having our first baby horse, or, or foal, sorry. Um... So that's going to be fun, and I do have foal names, uh, male and female, depending on what it is. And I'll just go down the list as we have foals or whatever. Um, as always, if you guys have any name suggestions, you can leave them down in the comments. They'll be added to the list, and um, we'll kind of go from there. So, my chinchilla's mm. awake. That happens 90% of the time. Why didn't you eat that? What the heck? It became bad when you took it out of the... I'm so confused. Okay, whatever. Go ahead and clean it up. Um, what was I saying? My chinchilla's awake. Pretty sure that's nothing new. And our apple tree is growing in our house. That is one thing I did hate, or I do hate about The Sims 3, is that the trees and things actually go through the walls, which is kind of weird, because trees don't normally go through walls. Yeah. Um. Okay, what is that? Oh. Uh, I was very confused. I was a very confused person. So, I'm not sure what we're going to do with her today. We're probably just going to train and stuff like that. Um, just kind of the usual in the end, Miss Ariel. We're not going to train too terribly hard because Ariel is pregnant. And I don't want her to get injured or anything. I don't know if that's possible. But if it is, we don't want it to happen. <laughs> can they lose their fault? I don't think they can. But you never know. So there's no available pets because I wouldn't mind getting like a small uh, cat and or dog so maybe we'll kind of have something to work with and i'm kind of sitting back from my microphone so if it like sounds different i'm sorry i feel like i sit too close and then when i sit back i feel like i sit too far back so that way you guys can't really hear me i don't know i'm trying it a bit different this time so if i sound too far away in this part i will try to fix it for future parts i just i want to get like i'm tired of talking so close because it's like i'm like hunched over because i don't see it properly i sit like crisscrossed um so it's really annoying when i have to um kind of hunch over in order to talk on my mic and I'd really mm -hmm. prefer to sit like this mm -hmm. but as always if it doesn't work out um Need us I will be sure to fix it for the next part and it's also raining mm -hmm. yay yay for rain oh it's hailing I'm so sorry correction it's hailing all right so we're gonna go ahead and let Ariel out and um work with her a little bit you can go ahead and mount up Oh, uh, she hasn't walked up in yet. Why are you taking a shower? You're not really that dirty, but go ahead. Knock yourself out. Good job, you broke it, didn't you? How do you break a shower on the first day you get it? Don't repair it. Call a repair technician. Even though we don't have the money for a repair technician, we're gonna call one anyways. So I want to enter in our first competition tonight in like a small beginner one, but I'm almost 100% sure that horses, or horses, pregnant horses cannot enter in competitions. So that's always disappointing, but I do want to kind of walk slash trot down to this center here, um, the whatever center y'all know what i'm talking about if you have oh we can't gallop thank the lord the center where you can train and stuff um i know she can't jump because she's pregnant yeah i do know she can't jump but i think the lisa can have her um jump or run the jumping course to say so i do want to have her kind of practice jumping a little bit and kind of get a feel for all aspects 
of what she can, you know, accomplish because it's going to be really hard to train after the baby comes because, you know, we're going to be um, taking care of it and stuff and it's currently getting dark at 4 p.m. because this makes perfect sense. Oh, there's no lights. Yeah, because it so looks bright. Okay, why did you dismount? What on earth did you just do? Get back on there. Because we're not freaking done. Okay, this just happened. What? I'm so confused. This didn't give me any warning or anything. Oh my gosh, okay. So, Ariel just gave birth to a foal. What would you like to name him? So, it is a boy, and the first name on the list is Hunter. So, that is going to be his name. And we're going to come right over here because apparently she was, like, teleported home or whatever. And as soon as I write the name down, we will watch the birth. All right. Um, we've got the name, and we're going to watch the birth. Go ahead and go home. We don't worry about that. Here we go. Oh, he's kind of weird looking. Yep. Definitely not the prettiest thing in the world, but, uh, who's clapping? Oh, my God. She's clapping for the horse. Oh, my God. Precious. It's so exciting to have our first foal. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it is just me. Okay. So, let's look at the little BB. Alright, go ahead and go here. And then you can go ahead and go here. So, we can create a bond because we do have to train all foals. So, you want to have a good bond with them. And you can go ahead and brush him. And... Let him sniff your hand and rub his neck and talk Isn't to awesome. him. I don't really like his coloring, um, which that's just a personal preference. I don't know. I feel like it kind of looks weird on him. Like, I can never actually have a cute horse. I don't understand. Why does this happen to me? Whoops. Praise for being obedient. Stop! You're caring for your horse. Who is absolutely precious. <laughs> okay. You can um, go ahead and use the... Oh my gosh! The repair technician didn't even freaking repair the shower. Where is she at? I'm not paying her by the hour. I hope not. Okay, you can repair it because I don't feel like calling her. Again. I was wondering why we, our money didn't go down. And then I realized. Maybe this won't take too long. There we go. Okay, awesome. Mop up that puddle. Okay, actually don't. Clean the whole house. Because why not? You can go ahead and just have a quick meal of some green salad because it's already 12 o'clock and we have a raccoon at our door. Nice. All right, let's see the baby. He's so cute. No, you're not supposed to be. Yep, you can't sleep on the ground. You can't sleep on the ground. What an inner and how thirsty are you? I don't know why it does that. Drink and nap and enter and nap. Go ahead and do that. My sweet little sugar plum honey bunches of why did you just get out? Okay. There we go. Is she going to sleep? She is. So I will actually, oops, I will um pick up in the morning. Alright guys, we are back this morning and through the night, um... Mr. Hunter did gain another trait because he literally would not be quiet due to the fact that it was raining outside. 
So all he did was Winnie and he has gotten the um, noisy trait. I keep wanting to call it the nosy trait for some reason. Yeah, I know, I'm weird. Um, But it is the noisy trait, meaning we could sell him to the facility, the JRA equestrian place, but I'm not sure if we are quite yet. Um, I haven't decided. Personally, it would be a lot easier to sell him just so we could actually train and stuff. But I don't know. Also, we got bills, and after we pay them, we're going to be dirt poor because they're $67, and I don't know where our money went. Like, it went from freaking 137 to $81, and I don't understand. Um, so we're going to try to get that money back with our garden because it's much needed and hopefully this is going to be worth a pretty good bit of money even though we don't have too too many plants ready um yeah we can try we can try we can try Tip. and the little pony good lord what is this Look at the carrots. Can she eat them? No, she's um too young. You can go ahead and eat it though. Precious. She's just gonna go ahead and uh, do all that good stuff with her produce um, and try and earn mm -hmm. us some money. Normally, when you get a lot of produce, you can sell it for so much money, it's almost ridiculous. Um. But I would like to go to the grocery store and sell oh, $54. You've got to be kidding me. Whatever. This is when we need to go to Into the Future and look at some lottery ticket numbers. Um, it's also Leisure Day. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I forgot to say that. It's Leisure Day. So people are leisuring and stuff like that. I do want to go see how much we can um, sell the fall for. Might want a bottle feeder. Um, praise for being fast and then go ahead and uh, saddle her in her leading saddle and we will lead her down and see how much? Yeah, so she should. Uh, I'm a genius. Oh. All right, so she should hopefully go with us. Go here with the horse. Who knows if it'll actually happen? Cause it might be like yeah, missing its mother the second it leaves. But hopefully. It'll uh, continue to come with us. Because it wants to be like by its mom or whatever. Okay. Because I didn't really think this through, we're just going to have the big horse uh, right here. Hopefully along beside us. Nope, I guess not. Okay, we'll go at a walk. Oh my gosh, you're not even following the same path they are. Well, it's fine for right now, so maybe it'll stay fine. This horse was smart and went the other path, but oh well. What can you do here? Do they have anything here? What's that? I don't know. I don't even think I want to know. Just try to ignore it. Even though if it was me, it would drive me insane. All right, let's just wait for them to get here because they shouldn't be too far. All right, go ahead and uh, go here at a gallop. So that way your baby obeys. <laughs> What's wrong with the baby? Go. Oh, I'm a genius. Go here. Go, horsey. Parse, thank you. Watch me do this completely wrong. Because 90% of the time, that's what happens. Okay. Whoops. Um. Oh, oh. Oh, 
it does have to be an adult horse, I guess, unless you are selling it um, to someone, which I don't really think we have anyone that wants a horse quite yet. So, whatever. We will wait until he is an adult and then kind of go from there. Um, go ahead and check the neighborhood for pets to adopt because there were two puppies born last night. They're German Shepherd and some other pet mixed. But I guess they're not for sale yet. Which kind of sucks. Alright, go ahead and um, cook something to eat. So, serve up some dinner. We'll try mac and cheese. Who knows if that'll work. Go ahead and uh, cook that. And try not to burn it. Yep, she succeeded in burning it. Whatever. Alright, go ahead and yeah, grab a bowl. Took you forever to make that. Like mac and cheese only <coughs> needs to bake in like how many? I think it was 15, 10 to fifteen minutes on the stove. Cause I've cooked it before, but it was only like one time before. So, anyways, I'm just gonna let her do the basic necessities and come check on the horses, cause they tend to not to actually want to stay in here. Um, they tend to want to sleep outside which i think is a little bit ridiculous but whatever so we're just gonna do all that jazz and with that being said i am gonna go ahead and in that part in this part right here thank you guys so much for watching thank you guys for subscribing and as always i will see you guys in part three bye guys